Now, uh, amid all of this, another vote winner for the Tories, uh, Jeremy Hunt has dropped plans to slash income tax <laughs> oh, by what, two pence. Three seconds. Well, that should romp them home at the general oh, election. Yeah, yeah. But the idea, though, I mean, look, the Conservatives are supposed to be the low-tax party, and, you know, everyone says it all the time, highest tax burden since World War II, yada, yada. But we know that our economy is in an absolute mess, and I don't think whoever is sitting in uh, the Treasury after the next election is going to have much headroom, as they like to say, to do anything about it. Because we basically spaffed a load of money up the wall during COVID and they're still paying the price, as well as mm -hmm. having decades worth of terrible ideas of how we yeah. create energy for this country, i.e. not using our own, importing it, and then de deciding windwoms are the answer. So it's kind of basically, you know... Windwoms <laughs> means windmills, by the way, air, windwoms. Air, air, air thing. By the way, uh, what I'd like to say to the Tories, could you stop trying to con us? Don't say, oh, you know... Con th th there's, uh, there's tax cuts in the pipeline, they're coming, they're coming. <laughs> they and then, oh, uh, actually, they won't. Uh, and there's tax cuts coming. There's a couple of by-elections. Oh, the by-elections have gone. We're not going just, to cut taxes. Just always Stop conning us. We're not stupid. Uh, no. Well, I might be, but most people are not. <laughs> You're not okay. Uh, this is this is a, a great story. Uh, well, a it's worry. a great story. Yay. Well, <laughs> it is that channel migrants are now being monitored on a daily basis. Oh. Uh, that when they come across the channel by our security services, the spy services, the security services, uh, because uh, it, it is now quite clear there is firm evidence that uh, serious uh, criminals, hardened criminals, are using these dinghies and small boats, uh, acting as if they're sort of migrants from Syria. They're actually hard-lying criminals, and that's how they're getting into the right. country. That's got to be worrying. You know, reading this, it's like, obviously, you know, that basically, the trafficking of these people internationally is run by massive criminal cartels. These aren't sort of like Oxfam services putting these people into dinghies. They're connected to all sorts of ne'er-do-wells, from the Taliban to ISIS to the Wagner mercenaries who are operating in Africa, causing mass exoduses. This isn't exactly, you know, save the world who are saying, come along, get in a boat, off your jolly. I mean, the one um, thing I would and say... all Alex, those people who came over from Albania, what do we think they were coming to do? Work <laughs> in NGOs? Of yes. course they weren't. Of course they weren't. The one, th one thing I would say, it's all very well, you monitoring them. What are you doing about I don't, it? I know. They're, obvi they're obviously getting oh, look, here. Here come some terrorists and hardened criminals. Yeah. There they go. Yeah. Let's keep it's all right. We're monitoring, them. We're, we're monitoring them. We're monitoring them. Honestly. And then it, you learn that 5,000 have disappeared. Everything is a shambles. Everything is a shambles. But uh, 